Hello, um, I am back to talk about the honeymoon. Um, I tried to make a video yesterday about it and my computer started acting up and I couldn't finish it. <coughs> and then I had to go out. Um, so I'm back today to talk about it. Um, and I have a list of all of the things that we did and everything, so hopefully I'll be as concise as possible. Um, so First of all, I don't think that I mentioned before um, that for our honeymoon we went up to Vermont for the week, and um, and I had really never been to Vermont before. I think I had driven. I'm pretty sure I drove. We drove. My dad and I drove through Vermont to get to Canada before, but um, but I don't really remember that drive all that well. But Vermont is just gorgeous. Um, all the mountains and everything. It's just really, really beautiful. Um, so, like, we'd be driving along and come around a corner on the highway, and there would just be this amazing view. Um, it was just, it was just really, really beautiful. And I have pictures and stuff, and I am going to put together a slideshow and, and stuff and post that. Um, so, uh, so that I can share that with, with all of you. But, uh, but it really was just an amazing, amazing, beautiful place. Um, and there was snow on the ground when we got up there, and it stayed the whole week, and there was a couple of little, you know, snowfalls during the night. Sometimes we'd wake up in the morning and there'd be fresh snow, and it was just really nice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so that was really good. And then the cabin that we were staying in was beautiful, and I am, I promise, I'm going to post the tour of the cabin. Um... But one of the best things about it was the gas fireplace that was there that was two-sided. So it was in the living room and it was in the bedroom. Um, and there was a, it would ha had a remote to it. So, like, we could walk in the door from being gone all day or from being at dinner or whatever and, turn you know, turn it on with the remote and, you know, there was fire. Or wake up in the morning and reach over to the bedside table and turn it on and there was a fire. Um, and that was, that was really, really nice. Um, and... So I'm really glad that that's where we ended up staying. Um, the place that we originally wanted to stay didn't advertise that they had a fireplace. So, I mean, it would have been, I'm sure it would have been nice, too. The The other place that we, the place that we originally wanted to stay was, like, a cabin. It was a sugar shack that had a cabin that they rented out. So, like, it would have been cool in a different way because it would have, we would have been able to see all the workings of the sugar shack. But, um... But this place was just really, really nice. And it was it was pretty secluded and um, you know, we really felt like we were by ourselves. Um, so that was that was cool. Um, so yeah, so it was just really nice. Um, and we so we spent the first couple of days that we were up there just kind of relaxing and decompressing and um, not doing a whole lot. <laughs> um, which was good. Uh, we found quite a few good restaurants, which, um, so Eric is, Eric really likes good food, um, and I, I mean, that, all of that is really lost on me, it's not, it's not something that I enjoy, and I can never eat enough for it to really be worth it, <laughs> like, I bring home leftovers from, any meal basically um and then it just sits in the fridge because they never have a chance to eat them because then we go out for another meal and it's like they just pile up um so I feel kind of bad that we I mean we kept going out for these relatively nice meals like not as nice as Eric would have necessarily liked um he he really wanted to go to a like really nice place for a meal um, with the kind of food that I don't really go for, um, but that didn't happen, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to find a place here at home that we would both, um, that we would both be able to find good things to eat at, um, so anyway, so, but we found, we found good restaurants, and that was really good, um, so anyway, enough about that stuff. <laughs> When we get to, you know, the things that we actually did while we were there. Um, so, our, kind of our first, the first day of going to, to actually see places. 
um, we went to three places. We went in the direction of Montpelier, and then like past Montpelier. Is that right? Yeah, Montpelier. Uh, no, I feel like I'm lying there. I feel like we went to Burlington. Yes. One day we went in the direction of Burlington, one day we went in the direction of Montpelier. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it certainly doesn't matter for you guys, I'm sure. Um, so anyway, so the, but the first day that we went to see places, um, we went to three places. Two of them were huge disappointments. <laughs> One of them was fantastic. Um, so the huge disappointments um, were, first we went to this place that was supposed to be a working sugar shack where they make maple syrup and a smokehouse. And they advertised that you could see the smokehouse, which you can't. You can't go in it. Um, and, like, you can, like, they have glass set up so you can kind of look in it, but there was nothing going on in there when we were there. Um, and their sugar shack was closed because <laughs> they were cleaning it for, um, for sugar on snow parties for the weekend. So that was a huge disappointment. Um, and we had kind of gone out of our way to go there. So that was really unfortunate. Um, but we got a bunch of stuff from their gift shop. We got some um, like smoked meats and stuff like that, um, for gifts and some stuff for us and stuff like that. So, um, so at least we, we got that stuff, but it was, Eric was really looking forward to it and, um, it was too bad. Like he was kind of down after that. Um, but then after that, we went to the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory, Teddy Bear Company Factory, I think it is, um, which was really, really cool. Um, if you ever get a chance to go there, it's, you know, I recommend going there, do the tour, um, because the tour is really cool. We ended up getting a personal, uh, individual tour, just the two of us, because no one else was there, um, which was neat. It happened there, and it happened one other place, that we got tours just, just us. Um, so, yeah, so we got to see the whole factory, and they have, like, a, um, a bear hospital, because you're, like, if you buy a bear from the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory, um, it's, it's, uh, guaranteed for life, so if anything happens to it, um, you can send it back, and they'll fix it or replace it, um, and if, if it gets totally destroyed, and you can salvage the, one of the eyes, or the tag, um, you can just send that back, and they'll send you a new bear. Um, so, like, it was really cool, but the, the hospital wing was kind of cool, like, there was a bear set up on a stretcher with an IV of fluff, and then there was another bear set up on a stretcher with an IV of honey, um, like, it was just cool, and, um, you know, very playful, and I'm sure that, like, kids like it, but it also has a lot of those kind of things that I don't know that kids would necessarily get, um, so, like, there's definitely things there for adults, um, that adults would find funny. Um, so we did the tour, and then we went to the shop, and we made we made a bear for um, Flora, for our niece, um, which was cool. It was a little bit much, even for me, like, with the silliness of making the bear. Like, I cut the umbilical cord of the bear, because they sew up the back, and then they put it through, and then cut the umbilical cord. Like, So there was a bit much to it, but, um, but it was a really cool tour, and... You know, it was really neat seeing it. Um, so that was really good. So that kind of made up for the disappointment of going to see the farm before that. Um, and then after that, so we were there for quite a while. Then after that, we went to um, this chocolate place that we were planning on taking a tour of and discovered that we were half an hour late for their last tour. So that, like, that was a disappointment also. Um, but that was our fault for not looking close enough at the brochure and remembering. Like, I think I looked at it, but just didn't remember, um, the times. So anyway, but that was our first, that was the first day of actually going out and seeing stuff. Um, and the, the teddy bear factory kind of made up for the other two places being a disappointment, because it was, it was really, it was really fun. Um, so that was good. Um, and again, I have pictures from, from there that I will, uh, put in the slideshow. Um, and then 
on the next day that we went, like this, this all didn't happen consecutive days. We took days off in between, but, um, the next day that we actually went out and did stuff, um, we went and toured Ben and Jerry's, which we were about five minutes away from, five miles away from, something like that. Um, so we were driving by it, like, constantly to go places. Um, but we finally went there and did a tour, um, which was not a private tour. There were quite a few people there. Um, but that was cool. And then at the end of the tour, we got to try, at the end of the tour, you get sam you get a sample. And we got to try a brand new flavor that they were testing um, that um, I think I think they said that the day before was the first day that they had made it. Um, I think Eric keeps saying that that day was the first day they had made it, but I think they said that the day before was the first day they had made it. And it was pumpkin oatmeal cookie, um, and it was delicious. Like, it was, it was really, really good. Um, pumpkin ice cream with chunks of oatmeal cookie in it. Um, it was, it was really good. Um, so, yeah, so we did that, and then we got ice cream at the scoop shop there, um, and walked around the gift shop, although we didn't buy anything there. Um, so that was cool. Um, and then our third day of going to, to see the, t I guess, touristy things, um, was also a really cool day. So it was kind of like our maple syrup and cheese day. Um, so we went, first we went to another farm that had a sugar shack that was actually working. It was open and everything. And we went there on Friday. So I think, I think on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the sugar shacks tend to be doing more. <clears throat> so anyway, so this farm, we were, we happened to be there the first day that they were actually boiling the sap to make the syrup. Um, so we went in the, the sugar shack, um, where they boil the sap, where they make the, the syrup. Um, and they were boiling their first batch. Like they hadn't, there, no syrup had <clears throat> come out yet. So, like, we got to see, we got to see them boiling, we got to hear about what was going on and everything. They had a new machine that they were using for the first time that year, a reverse osmosis machine that was going to help reduce the time that the sap needed to boil, which was cool. Um, <clears throat> and the sap needed to get up to a certain temperature before it would actually be syrup and come off. And it was, like, getting up there, but it was going to take a little while. So, like, we kept going back and forth. <clears throat> so, like, we were in the sugar shack. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> wow. <clears throat> I don't know what happened there. So, we were in the sugar shack, and then we went into the um, store, and I don't know what we did first, but, like, we did a couple things and kept going back and forth. Um, and one of the cool things that we tried there was... It's called Sugar on Snow, and I had never experienced this before, and I didn't really know what it was. Like, as a kid, I had had snow with maple syrup on it. That is not what this is. <laughs> well, it kind of is, but it's not. Um, so you get a container um, of basically shaved ice, and it's, like, packed down. And then you get a, contain a little thing of warm maple syrup and you pour little like quarter size things of maple syrup onto the ice the shaved ice and you let it sit for you know five or ten seconds and then you scrape it off with your fork and it's like the consistency of taffy it's it was really good um and interestingly enough um so like you can get it you can get it just by itself or you can get it with other stuff um, and, like, the whole package of it is the sugar on snow, um, this, like, cake donut that you can dip in the syrup, a drink, and a pickle. And we didn't think that the pickle would be good with it at first. It is, like, really, it cuts the sweetness. So, like, you have some of the sugar on snow, and then you have a bite of the pickle. And then you have some more sugar on snow, and you have a bite of the pickle. And it, like, it works really, really well together. Um, so, yeah, uh... So that was really good. So we did that, and eventually, after going back and forth a bunch of times and like seeing the temperature go up um, in the of the for the sap, um, eventually we 
were over there when they when the first bit of syrup was drawn off. So that was really cool. So we got to see the first little bit of syrup of the season. Um, so that was neat. Um, and then after that, we went on to Cabot. And we got to have another personal tour, just the two of us there. Um, and got to see them making cheese. Um, they were making habanero cheddar while we were there. Um, that was cool. Got to try samples. Got to buy a whole bunch of cheese. Um, so that was, that was a neat tour. There's not a whole lot to say about it necessarily. Um, so I'm not going to go on and on about that because it's getting really long. Um, and then after that we went to another farm with a sugar shack. Um, which by that point, like, we had already seen the first one. Um, and the guy at the first one was really, really friendly and had let us see a whole bunch of stuff because we were so persistent and kept coming back. Um, so the second one, like, wasn't quite as interesting. But it was cool to see they do it a different, a little bit of a different way there. We talked to the woman in the gift shop, and, um, so it was cool to, to, um, see how they do it differently. And, uh, if we weren't maple syruped out at that point, um, then we would have potentially done another sugar on snow there. Because they were doing it there also. But there was no way that I was going to be able to have any more sugar at that point. Um, oh, and at the first farm, Eric also had something called a maple creamy. Which is basically like maple soft serve ice cream. Um, and I had a taste of it and like it was really, really good. Um, so, yeah. And at both of the farms, we bought maple syrup to bring back for people. And like there's going to be enough so that we'll be able to keep some. Um, and so we bought brought back a bunch of souvenirs and stuff for people. Um, oh, and one of the other places that we got to go see, which I didn't don't have on my list because we didn't actually go out seeking it. It was right up the street from our cabin. Um, was a glass blowing place, which was really cool. Um, I don't have any pictures of that, but we got to see a guy blowing glass. So we went twice. The first time there was the the actual gl main glass blower and his assistant, and he was making pictures. And then the second time we went, the day we left, it was just the assistant, um, and we saw got to see him make a plate, which was really cool because. It started out, like, as a ball, and he was blowing it, and, like, it looked like it was going to be a bowl, and then all of a sudden it was a plate, um, and apparently he was making pieces for his wedding, um, so that was really cool. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what we did. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to say. Um, I don't think so. And this is extremely long, and I'm sorry that it's so long. Um, and I will, you know, do pictures and all of that stuff, which will probably be better than this babbling recounting of everything. Um, but, yeah. Um, so I will stop here. Um, and, yeah, I, I hit everything on my list. So, um, I'll stop here, and I have to go and do some work and, and all kinds of stuff, so, um, I'll hopefully get some pictures and stuff put together later this week, and, um, yeah. And I don't have all the wedding pictures yet, um, and I have a friend who took a whole bunch of pictures who's going to hopefully get them up onto Facebook in the next few days, um, so I'll have a lot more pictures to put into a slideshow, um, soon, so I'm gonna wait on that, um, so yeah, so I hope you're all doing well, um, I'll do a health update sometime soon also, um, I just started back on antibiotics, so I'll, I'll do a health update soon, um, so yeah, so I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you soon.